Hey guys, with Marvel Infinity Wars just right around the corner, we here at Not Good Gamers are going to give you our thoughts on the top 10 Marvel games of all times. Do remember that this is not arranged in any particular order. 10 is not better than 1, 5 is not better than 4, but do comment down below which number 1 game is in your heart. At number 1, we have LEGO Marvel Super Heroes. LEGO Marvel Super Heroes is an action-adventure game developed by Traveller's Tale and published by Warner Brothers Interactive. This game is set in the Marvel Cinematic Universe with prominent settings such as Asgard, and the Marvel version of New York City. What makes this multiplayer game so interesting are the whimsical jokes and lighthearted quips that are mentioned throughout the entire game. Hey guys, <laughs> hope you don't mind. No hot water at the apartment. Think of it as one of those funny moments in any Marvel movie. Now times 10. Now add a Lego figurine acting it out. Hulk dance! Ah! At number 2, we have Deadpool. Everyone's favourite anti-hero comes to life thanks to the guys at High Moon Studios with a mature rated, self-titled, single-player action, beat-em-up, hack-and-slash game called Deadpool. This game is the epitome of what Deadpool is. Crude humour, out-of-the-box surprises, and a non-existent fourth wall. You. Y yes, you, 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 you. Hello. Hi, hi, hi. Stop using your phone. Watch this video. Very important. Am I in focus? I'm not in focus. Cameraman! He even acknowledges that he's part of the game and takes a piss at the game script and redecorates it with a crayon. Why are we trying to kill what's-his-face? Who cares? I'm making art here. Normally equipped with his katana and gun, Deadpool has access to large hammers, plasma guns, and sick-ass combos, anything that will help you obliterate henchmen along the way as you progress along the level. Along the way, you'll bump into characters such as Wolverine, Rogue, Psylocke, Cable and some bad guy called Mr. Sinister. I mean, who names a villain Mr. Sinister? Is it Mr. Sinister? I don't know. It sounds like a lazy ass name. I mean, like, why can't you just call the guy Mr. Batman? You know? Batman, like the guy in the other universe. Okay, DC! At number three, we have Punisher. Released in 2005, The Punisher is a single player, third person action shooter game published by THQ. The plot begins with Frank Castle, aka The Punisher, on Rikers Island being interrogated by two detectives for killing various footmen of the Yakuza. The gameplay occurs in moments of flashbacks during the interrogation. His main mission is to track down the Jigsaw. No, not Saw, Jigsaw, no. This game received a huge amount of mixed reviews, but back in the day, we were probably too young to care what pro gamers had to say about it. There was just something about characters doing all the wrong things for all the right reasons that made Punisher super intriguing, and plus, it was gory as hell back in the day. This game was considered gory, can you believe it? At number 4, we have The Incredible Hulk Ultimate Destruction. This single player beat em up action adventure game captured the true nature of Hulk's rage and mayhem in an open world, ensuing Ultimate Destruction. What better way to vent your anger by exploring the open world with an immense amount of freedom and destroying everything you see? This game has Hulk running through walls, scaling tall buildings, and making giant leaps just to make the perfect atomic slam on villains. At number 5, we have X-Men Legends 2 Rise of the Apocalypse. Following from the action RPG prequel, the second edition of X-Men Legends has everything the first game had to offer and more. In this storyline, instead of the X-Men going up against the Brotherhood of Mutants, they team up in an unlikely alliance to go up against a common enemy. Apocalypse himself. Players can choose up to 4 characters from a large roster pool and you can unlock more characters along the way in the game. You're even able to upgrade your mutant abilities and create combos with different characters so that's what makes this game super interactive. Number 6, Marvel Ultimate Alliance. Just like X-Men Legends 2, this action RPG has you choosing from 4 different characters from the Marvel Cinematic Universe. You can even choose certain characters to form prominent Marvel groups such as The Avengers, The Defenders, Fantastic Four and X-Men. Honestly, in my opinion, it's unfair to compare Marvel Ultimate Alliance and X-Men Legends. Both share the same gameplay, only different rosters, and the only downside to Ultimate Alliance is that you lack the control to customize how you want to upgrade your characters. At number 7, Marvel vs Capcom 3. Every kid that has visited the arcade has definitely played or at least heard of Marvel vs Capcom. There are a few Marvel vs Capcom editions out there, but today we're going to talk about the third one. Why? Because the third edition is the first ever Marvel vs Capcom games to introduce 3D graphics on a 2.5D graphic platform. So for those of you who don't know what Marvel vs Capcom is, you get to choose three characters to form one team and you go up one-on-one -on -one with another team and you're able to switch between characters in between any time of the match and you can perform sick team combos. Honestly, right now, if you still don't know what Marvel vs. Capcom is, I suggest you just go to the arcade now and play it. Do they still have it? Do they still have it? I don't know. Play the game! 
At number 8, we have Guardians of the Galaxy, the Telltale series. For those of you who are unfamiliar with Telltale games, they are well known for creating episodic graphic adventure games, aka point and click story based games. So for those of you who are looking for a more chill kind of game, this is the perfect game for you. This game is based off entirely on your decisions along the game. This game will give you a storyline and along the way you will have to make different choices and different choices will lead up to different endings of the game. Most people will want to try everything but personally, I like to play the game once and see how I end up. At number 9, X-Men Origins Wolverine. Usually, when a video game is based off a movie, it is destined to fail. But for some reason, X-Men Origins Wolverine was a huge success. This is a single player hack and slash game similar to Devil May Cry and God of War. The gameplay storyline is mostly based off the movie but in this gameplay, there are definitely more stuff for you to experience. Side missions, more characters, more action. Trust me, the movie is not gory enough, alright? This game is definitely more gory. But there are certain elements of the game which differs from the movie. For example, Mystic was in the game. Mystic wasn't in the movie. So once again, X-Men in the past kind of messed up with the whole timeline, so what to do, right? But the game is still awesome. It's gory, it's hack and slash. Have fun! At number 10, and personally, my favourite, Spider-Man. Now you're probably thinking, why not Spider-Man 2? Well, because Spider-Man 1 is the very first superhero game that sets the tone for every other future superhero game. Spider-Man 1 is the very first superhero game to put on a benchmark of how video games are right now. It is the very first game to introduce the 3D element in any superhero game. At that point in time, I mean, I was still a kid, it was on PS1, the 3D graphics, the swinging mechanism, the voice acting, and fighting combos, everything was pitch perfect. But then again, Spider-Man 2 is on the top 100 PS2 games of all times. So why did I choose Spider-Man 1 over Spider-Man 2? The answer is, I can't pick both. It's just that Spider-Man 1 was my very first game. I think I speak for a lot of people out there. I'm still using my 4th wall Deadpool, yeah? Most of you out there, older gamers such as myself, Spider-Man 1 was my very first game of all. Even before FIFA, Winning Eleven, Spyro, Final Fantasy, I don't care. Spider-Man 1 was my very first game and that's why it has a very special place in my heart. So that's all I have for this top 10 Marvel games of all time. So guys, do comment down below what other games you think deserve to be on the top 10 Marvel game of all time list. Well, that's all the time for me I have today. Enjoy Marvel Infinity Wars. It's the movie we'll all be waiting for a long time. See ya!